The Trump administration has given us so many wacky characters, it's easy for some of them to get lost in the crowd. So tonight, we'd like to highlight one of his most influential but overlooked cabinet members in a segment called, Get a Load of This Asshole. <laughs> Secretary of the Interior Ryan Zinke doesn't look like an asshole. He looks like your charming, handsome Republican but believes in climate change daddy. And yes, I do mean daddy in the sex way. The nominee to be Secretary of the U.S. Interior Department says it is, quote, indisputable that climate change is happening and that humans are a big cause. For those that don't know me, I get my inspiration from Teddy Roosevelt. Ragnar is our ambassador to happiness of the Department of Interior. Oh, that makes that dog one of the most qualified ambassadors in the Trump administration. <laughs> but don't be blinded by Zinke's charming smile and fluffy dog. Zinke and Ragnar immediately got to work chewing up America's public lands. The president has just signed proclamations to dramatically scale back the size of two national monuments in Utah. The administration has plans now to reduce Bears Ears National Monument by nearly 85% and the Grand Staircase Escalante uh, in half. The announcement comes after Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke completed a months-long review of 27 different national monuments. Zinke also recommended lifting curbs on logging and mining. Oh, so he's inspired by Teddy Roosevelt, the same way Tanya Harding was inspired by Nancy Kerrigan. <laughs> Zinke's undermining of public land has managed to anger an impressively diverse range of people. He's earned the mild, amicable wrath of Utah residents who haven't been this upset since they found out their basketball team was going to be named after the devil's music. <laughs> and he's also outraged Native Americans who say this violation of their sacred land is the most disrespectful thing Trump has done to them since last month. To the Navajo and Hopi, Zuni and Utes, these canyons hold the spirits of loved ones. They live among us just like you and I were communicating. These are your neighbors. And they're probably saying, get a load of this asshole. <laughs> anyway, Zinke is most likely just looking out for another sacred tradition, uranium mining. The uranium company launched a lobbying campaign to scale back Bears Ears National Monument, saying it would give easier access to the area's uranium deposits. Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke repeatedly said questions of mining or drilling played no role in President Trump's decision to cut the site by 85 percent. Well, they should have played a role. Bears Ears is sacred to the Navajo people. Navajo land is already dotted with five 500 abandoned uranium mines, and 85% of Navajo homes are contaminated with uranium, giving them the superpower of invisibility to the rest of the country. And speaking of people we never listen to, those who spoke out about the effect of climate change in Zinke's interior quickly found themselves silenced. So when you say that scientists like yourself have been purged from your jobs, where have you been reassigned to? They reassign me to the accounting office that collects royalty revenue from oil and gas industries. And is accounting your specialty? I have no expertise in accounting. Oh, that's so sweet. He still thinks you need expertise to be a part of this administration. <laughs> Zinke didn't bring much integrity to the job, though he did bring a horse. Oh, damn, there are two Republican horsemen in one show. Oh, shit, there's a third one. OK, <laughs> we are just one horseman away from the apocalypse. But Ryan Zinke isn't just your typical Trump-appointed sentient chicken nugget. He's a former Navy SEAL, and he brings a certain military flair to the office. Even outside the Interior Department, it's easy to know if the secretary is at his desk, because he has ordered the secretary's flag raised above the building when he is in and taken down when he is out, according to the Washington Post. The Queen of England staff follows a similar protocol, but on this side of the pond, not even the president does that. Well, he will now that he knows it's an option <laughs> as soon as he finishes designing it. And it's not just the flag thing. Zinke really knows how to make work fun. Oh no, Trump is gonna try and copy this too. Zinke brings that kind of enthusiasm to everything he does, even swing dancing with second lady Karen Pence. Well, more like swing dancing at her. Me, me, 
Watch out, Zinky. By Mike Pence standards, that qualifies as sex. You are now on his enemies list. Zinke justifies the worst of his actions by saying he does it to protect our energy independence. I'm the steward of our nation's majesty. I can tell you as a former commander, it is better to produce energy here under reasonable regulation than to watch it get produced overseas with none. You're the steward of all our nation's majesty, not just its gas tanks. We already have an energy secretary, and he is amazing. Okay, I didn't say he was amazing at his job. He should just be the secretary of whatever the fuck that was. <laughs> Look, the secretary of the interior is not the most dangerous man in Trump's cabinet, except in a knife fight. He's basically a glorified park ranger. Remember, kids, only you can prevent forests. <laughs> Compared to the other tools Trump has put in place, he doesn't have the power to hurt that many people. Just Native Americans, scientists, Karen Pence, endangered species, the state of Utah, and anyone affected by climate change. Oh, look, that's all of us. We'll be right back.